Roll back to the 6th of October 2021. So there's this cool checkerboard thing here. Wow, he only had a really short life. So this is the super expensive Savoy Hotel, the biggest cinema in Britain. And this is the school, but I'm just videoing this for you guys. And you saw it changing color. And I'm gonna go to the Bulls and Museum. But first, we have to cross through this Victoria Embankment Garden. So there's this cool checkerboard thing here, which I also saw in Baker Street Portman Square Garden. But I didn't take a photo there because, like, we kind of have this in Hong Kong's Thai old place. But then, like, since it's right in the entrance, I took a photo of this checkerboard. And now, we are gonna go into this garden. And that's this from um, um, plants here. And I'm gonna take a photo of them. So, there's also a statue here. This guy is called Robert Burns. Wow, he only had a really short life. Um, also, I think he's a poet of, like, writing about country stuff. So this statue is actually in memory of the officers of NCO and men of the Imperial Family Hall. So there's also a cafe here, which I did not know about. So I already had my birthday. So maybe next time I will ever come here again. And then there's also a little water fountain area, which is also a nice place to take a photo. So this is Sir Wilfred Lawson. He was a member of the Parliament for Connie Hockema. Um, I'm not really sure, but if this is London Regional Trophy. If it is, this tree is quite special because when I was looking further from it, it actually looks like a really Instagramable tree. And so kind of perfect trees as So this sculpture over here is erected to the memory of Henry Paul Fett. So this statue is Robert Wright and he was the founder of the Sunday School. So there is actually a mini pond over here. So this is the super expensive Savoy Hotel and this sculpture here is built to honor the founder of the Savoy Hotel which is the Richard Foley Party. And lastly, before we leave this garden, there's a statue of Arthur Zwingerland here. And there's a playground here. To get to the Pop Star Museum, you basically have to keep walking forward. So basically, you have to go up the stairs. And this is also a really cool photo to the top. So I'm basically back on the Waterloo Bridge again. And it's actually quite funny. Like part one thing, even though it's only 14 degrees. So this is the VFI Island. But to be able to go down there, you have to go down to this um, subway and then you will be able to get in. I think the website that I was looking at got a bit confused because there isn't a museum inside. It's basically the biggest cinema in Britain. So, but I don't want to watch any films. So now I'm gonna head to the Shakespeare Globes Theatre. So you should walk past this Whilst I was walking 
thing. I saw this really cool graffiti and it says context and modern play. Powerful roles and all the truly great meals in one life by Anthony Gordon. So over there you can actually get to the Gabriel's Wharf, but I don't really want to eat yet, so I'm not gonna go there. So I was just walking across that road and looking around and I saw these really cool light designs on the ceiling. So then I ran over to here and I took a photo here like this. I think it's called the Vivo Hotel. So apparently we have to walk across this river and it's around a three minute walk from here. Oh, so this is the Millennium Bridge. So even though I don't have to come on this Millennium Bridge, I still decided to come on it because it's actually on one of my things. But like basically, at the end of this bridge, it gets to this university of London school. Um, so this is the to go to the Shakespeare Globes Theatre. So there's another statue here and also I think St. Paul's Cathedral is actually closed because the door is closed and then the gates are closed as well. So I'm just gonna take a photo here. So you actually have to pay 20 pounds to visit the cathedral but you can also go to this morning prayer or this um, Charles Ingram song. Maybe I'll go to that one instead. Uh, maybe I'll go today. I'm not sure. But I didn't go in the end because I didn't have time. Yeah, so now I'm going to go back over to the Millennium So I'm crossing over the Millennium Bridge over there. And I just noticed this pretty cloud, so I'm going to take a photo here. So this is the Shakespeare's look. So I am now at the restaurant. And this is the food. And I'm just waiting for my friend to come. I ordered this duck breast and there's some carrots and I think it was like 27 pounds and my friend ordered this there is bread as well so we just finished our lunch and we're now gonna walk to the walk to the old hotel so we just saw this bank side sign and I realized that William Shakespeare actually lived and worked here and in the late 18th century this bank site developed into an industrial environment so and there are actually loads of places to live here I've been to Borough Market I've been to um with this train platform and also this building and we took a photo here as well so we were just walking along the Thames River and then we saw this boats parked along the trees we took a photo here so we are now going inside the lift so we need to go to the 8th floor so we are now at the public viewing gallery and actually we already finished taking some photos so I'm just videoing this for you guys and I realized that is actually the Royal Court of Justice 
and that church over there, I think, is St. Paul's Church. And then, there are also some views at the back there, and I'll put some pictures up on it screen now for you to see the views. So, we just finished up at the public viewing gallery. We're gonna walk to the Tate Burton as we still have some time. So, as we were walking to the Tate Burton, we walked past this Barney's Bean Gardens and I took a photo with this tree. And this Barney's Bean Gardens was actually named after a girl called. Bernadette Spain and she was a health and housing provision for the local community. So we were just walking along and we saw this really cool place to take a photo with the trees so we took a photo like this and I realized this part I actually haven't walked before so I realized we can see the big banner. Oh, I think this is a new memorial wall for everyone who died during COVID. So this is the Special Operations Executive. This over here is the memory of the people during the Second World War. So I am now on the Lampeth Bridge and there's around 10 minutes left until we get there. So we are now entering the Victoria Tower Garden South and there's around a 6 minute walk left until we get to the Tate Britain. And we have arrived at Tate Britain. So the entrance is actually over there. And I just took a photo here of the buildings and also over here. And we have arrived! And we got the ticket for the area that's free. So the reason why this is called the Tate Museum is because it was built by Henry Tate. So Isaac Rosenberg was actually the most important poet of the First World War. And sadly, he was tragically killed in April 1918. So I just took a photo here because I thought the circus looked like the piano and it was really cool. So we came into Pizza Express and I ordered a margarita because Pizza Express was only 4 minutes away and this pizza only took 7 minutes to make which is really good. So at the restaurant we saw it changing color so when we came out of the restaurant, we came into this park, and now I'm going to take a photo. <coughs> so we were just walking to Westminster Station, and we realized that there's a really pretty house in George Peter Street, and there's around a 7 minute walk left until we get to Westminster. So we just walked past this house's apartment. I realize the opening time is Saturday uh, 9 to 4 30, Monday 20 past 1 to 5 30, Tuesdays and Fridays 9 to 5 5 30.